well, now what is this? This is him. Um, this is him talking about uh, on June six. Um, and what is he referring to here when he says, without a question, it reads and smells like a witch hunt? I think this is when he was saying that basically, like, you know, this the Russia story in general reads like a witch hunt. And this is like a couple of days because this came out over the weekend. So I think this is before the story came out. Okay. Oh, this clip so, was a month ago. Yeah. yeah. Wait, this clip was a month ago? This clip oh, was oh, from okay. June, yeah. June 6th of 2017. Right. All right, so here is Donald Trump, uh, June 6th on 20... Junior. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> who now they're starting... To, well, here, play this clip. This is him a month ago on uh, Good Morning America. To me, it's without a question you know, reads and smells like a witch hunt because I, I have no other proof or evidence to show otherwise. <laughs> now, uh, apparently, the proof or evidence he has to show otherwise um, was he knows there's an absence of that proof, at least from his own personal experience, because it, almost to the day, a year ago uh, from that um, appearance on Meet the Press, the New York Times represent, uh, uh, reported that... Donald Trump Jr. was promised damaging information about Hillary Clinton before agreeing to meet with a Kremlin-connected Russian lawyer during the 2016 campaign. This is according to three advisors to the White House who were briefed on the meeting and two <laughs> others with knowledge of it. I mean, so this is not like a national security uh, apparatus leak. That's getting These really are people dirty in the there. White House. That was like everything was like the the internal battles where they were knifing each other. I thought was like Priebus versus Bannon, Kushner versus everybody. But now, like even the dumb kids are getting involved. Like I well, thought. Now I thought wait a second. Like yeah, Donald maybe it's, Jr. Maybe it's Tiffany. On. But let me also oh, remind Tiffany. you. Okay, <laughs> let me just remind you. <laughs> Tiffany set up the meeting. Who else is in the White House? Who else is considered a White House advisor, right? I mean, all of these Kushner. terms mean something. What? Kush, uh, Kushner. Well, no, 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 no. Who I'm going to read of? a headline from another piece in okay. the New York Times this weekend. At private dinners, Pence quietly courts Ooh. big donors and corporate executives. I mean, look. That's snake. I don't know. That's snake. But there's somebody in the White House. I mean, this is one of those, uh, you know, Chui Bono type of situation. Like, who in the White House? I can understand when Kushner gets thrown. Uh, and now, now right. maybe, look, maybe Bannon does leak something like this. Um, I don't know. Why did Mike tell me to step out in front of the bulletproof glass in Poland and just stand there? I don't get it. I mean, he said it would be great, but it didn't feel great. And people didn't seem to think it was great. So what's, I don't understand what's happening I with get Mike. the part about how people wanted to see me without <laughs> any barriers. I get that. <laughs> I don't know. And now he wants me to fly to Afghanistan with no security detail to show that. I That's mean, I weird, get it because right? the troops love me. But isn't that like a security challenge? My, my, favorite, my favorite part <laughs> about this piece is that apparently, and according to... Uh, Trump Jr.'s statement that he released. He asked Manafort and Kushner to come, but didn't tell him why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I know you're busy with the whole campaign. Just come over to my place. Just uh, trust like surprises. Me on this. <laughs> trust me on this. <laughs> Manafort like recognized the lawyer. He's like, "Oh yeah, we produced the fake uh, Oppo video at Chechnya together in the '90s." Now, and here's the thing: <laughs> this is what he writes. I mean, this is really stunning stuff because he is conceding. Uh, after pleasantries were exchanged, he said the woman stated that she had information that individuals connected to Russia were funding the DNC and supporting Mrs. Clinton. Her statements were vague, ambiguous, mm -hmm. ambiguous, and made no sense. No details or supporting information was provided or even offered. It quickly became clear that she had no meaningful information. Um, and then apparently this is about the Mag Magnitsky Act, which is an American law that, that blacklists suspected Russian human rights abusers. <laughs> now, I, I presume that is human traffickers, right? Oh, I also call them talent agents. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
can you read the vague, ambiguous part again? What was that language? The woman was saying it, it was vague and ambiguous. Her statements were vague, ambiguous, and made no sense. That sounds like the kind of the Trump family yeah, language. I was going to say, <laughs> right. it sounds like they're speaking each other's Which language. Which is why there. I totally understood what she was talking about. She said maybe in a certain sense that potentially there might be people <laughs> that said that Hillary might be doing things that are not good. I understood immediately. <laughs> Um, very strange, very, very strange stuff. Hi folks, Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps head over to our Patreon page right at this URL and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.